Hello and a very warm welcome back to Maths Plus. Today we're solving a radical equation and we have 25 to the root x plus 15 to the root x is equal to 9 to the root x. So maybe pause the video and give it a go and let me know how you get on. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. So let's get started. So let's look across the board. So we have the 25, the 15 and the 9 all to the x root. So we're going to choose one of these and we're going to go with the square root of 25. We're going to divide across the board into each term to try to obtain a simplification. Okay, so now that we have them divided across, we can see here we can cancel this out and we're going to get 1 as it's the same for the numerator and denominator. And for the second part, we're going to merge these together so we can merge them into the same root as it's the root x above and below. So we can go with x and 15 over 25 as a separate fraction inside. And then we have, again, we'll apply the same indices rule here, 9 over 25. Okay, so now that we have them merged, let's simplify inside with the fractions. Okay, so we're going to look at this here. We have the 25 as the denominator and the 15 and the 9. So we know that if we divide above and below, by 5 we will get 3 over 5 and over here for the 9 we know we have 3 squared over 5 squared is the same as 9 over 25 so let's input those okay so now we can see there is a pattern emerging so our next step now will be to just tidy up the square root here, or the x root, and remember we can apply a power of 1 over x, okay, because that is the x root, that's the number, and we can go 1 over that number. So let's bring it out, and we're going to have 3 over 5 to the power of 1 over x, replacing the second term, and again, 3 over 5, and now we have a 2 as a numerator as it's squared. As we have a consistent number in the expression, we can utilize a substitution. So we're going to let u equal to the x root of 3 over 5. It can be written in two different forms. So let's replace it, and we'll get 1 plus u is equal to u squared. All right, so it's very, it's very simple now in this format. As you can see, it's quadratic form. So we're going to apply the quadratic formula, and we're going to assign the coefficients a, b, and c, and input them into the formula. Okay, so we can see there we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to negative 1. So let's put them into our formula, and we can say u two options u1 and u2 subscript is equal to minus b which is going to be 1 plus or minus the square root of minus 1 squared minus 4 by 1 by negative 1 and that's a 5 all over 2 by 1 so you can see that this is the golden ratio now we're going to um, revert back Okay, and we're going to solve for x. So let's do that. So remember, u is equal to 3 fifths to the power of 1 over x. And let's replace it back. So we're going to get this. So we have a power. And we have an exponential equation now. And we need to solve for the 1 over x. So we're going to use this for both cases. And let's see, can we get one or two results. All right, so if we have a base, 
okay, and the number, then we can use a, a log rule to bring down the the coefficient. Okay, so we can cancel this number. Okay, with log rule. So let's apply a log. So we got to match the base with the number to bring down the power. Okay, so we're going to apply this now across here. So you can see here that the base required is going to have to match this number here, 3 over 5. So let's apply log to the base 3 over 5 to both sides to keep it balanced. So this is going to engineer a cancellation and bring down the power. So log to the base 3 of the golden ratio. So we're going to leave it in this form for now so we can see both options. We're not going to compute it now. So let's simplify the left hand side. So they're going to cancel with this rule. And now we're going to get 1 over x is equal to log to base 3 over 5 by the golden ratio. Get both signs at the moment. Now we're dividing the problem into two cases now from this point onward. So we have the positive golden ratio and the negative. So remember that if we get a log of a negative number, we're not going to get a solution, okay? So we're going to try that with a calculator, but you're not going to get an error. We have no solution. So let's compute the one on the left hand side. So let's do log to the base 3 over 5 of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And we will get 1 over x is equal to minus 0 0.94203. And also, if we invert this and we just want to get the x, then we're going to apply the reciprocal and we're going to get x is equal to minus 1.06154. Alright, so finally now we're going to do a check because as we have one solution and it's a, num it's a number which we we can check with this original formula. So let's do due diligence and check our solution. Checking our solution, our value for the first term will be 0 0.04821. And now let's apply the power of minus 1.06154 to 15. And remember, it's a root number, so it'll be 1 over that value. And we get 0 0.078 rounded. Okay, and on the other side then, we're going to apply that root to 9, and we will get 0 0.12621. So it checks out on either side, and therefore it's correct. And there it is x is equal to minus 1.06154 and that's our solution to the radical equation. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching and see you again soon on the next exciting Maths Plus video.